Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, July 23rd. The White House thinks it's time to refocus the national attention on the economy. With that in mind, President Obama is preparing what's being billed as a major economic address for tomorrow to be followed up by about six economic speeches over the next couple of months. Analysts say it's a move by Obama to take credit for the gains the economy has made in terms of GDP, jobs, and the stock market in recent months. The speeches are expected to revolve around the theme that we've come a long way since the financial crisis of 2008, but we still have much work to do. House Speaker John Boehner has a message for President Obama as the White House prepares for its budget plans this fall. Boehner said Republicans who control the House will not vote to extend the nation's debt ceiling unless the move is accompanied by federal spending cuts. You'll recall that disagreement over spending cuts last year led to the so-called sequester automatic cuts. Despite dire warnings about what the sequester would do to the economy, GDP and job creation have continued to grow, although opponents say the growth would be more robust without the sequester. The nomination of Alejandro Mayorkas as Deputy U.S. Homeland Security Secretary is on hold while he's investigated by the department's Inspector General. Mayorkas is now the Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. NBC News is reporting he's being investigated on allegations that he used his position to help a company run by the brother of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to receive an international visa, this after the agency previously rejected the visa request. The Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee is expected to delay hearings on Mayorkas' confirmation until the case is resolved. And a key Senate committee is recommending the United States continue to send foreign aid to Egypt, but with strict conditions. The major condition is that the military in Egypt, which overthrew President Mohamed Morsi earlier this month, conduct democratic elections. With those conditions, the committee approved $1.3 billion in military aid and $250 million in economic aid. That would match the amount going to Egypt before the overthrow of Morsi. That's your political news roundup for Tuesday, July 23rd. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news from around the world all day long.